The immigrant story is the American story. It is the story about how new Americans bring, bring richness and vitality to American life. Hi everyone, my name is Mike Mitchell and I am the CEO of Luminous, the Luminous Network for New Americans. And today we are being hosted by the Baltimore Museum of Industry in their print shop. Why, you might ask? It's because today we're interviewing a reporter who's originally from Korea who is gonna tell us about her story. So Alex Kim, welcome. Thank you, thank you for having me. You bet, so tell us about your story coming to the United States. Yes, well, just like any other um, immigrant stories, our parents, you know, we, they, they thought that, why don't we shoot for a better life? We need more opportunities, because we always hear about, you know, America is always the um, land of opportunity. So when we uh, moved halfway around the world to the, to the United States, no one was teaching Korean, <laughs> no one was speaking Korean, there was no way for me to pursue um, anything that is related to Korean language. So I was kind of drifting away from um, either art or journalism or any kind of writing, but I just stumbled onto um, job field, which, which was um, administrative side, which, which I was good at. So I stayed in that um, administrative field for quite a bit. And then, um, you know, along, along with all, all that years, like 10, 20 years, you know, I got married and had children. And then um, my parents got older. Two years ago, when my father passed away, my mother was left alone. And that was the point when I told my husband, maybe I need to stop having full-time job and um, venture out to a profession that offer me more uh, flexible time, more flexible schedule so I can help my mom and my children at the same time. So that's when I stumbled onto the Korea Daily. It's a local uh, Korean newspaper company. Here, there I was back in my um, love of writing or um, interviewing people and um, going different places to cover um, different events. And it was just fun. It was fun. meeting new people, learning about their histories, learning about their lives. Here I am two years later, I am um, very um, happy writing um, stories about Koreans and regular community, Korean community, how do I bridge it? That's where I am. That's great. You know, at Luminous, one of the things that we do is we bridge communities together. And is there something special about your writing to help make that happen? So maybe you're just writing a, a basic story about some event. Um, but does some of your writing entail kind of sharing uh, how to connect to the native-born community if it's the Korean community and vice versa? Yes, exactly. What I've been trying very hard from um, two years ago up until now is that I wanted everyone from both sides, like non-Korean speaking community and non-English, to be able to ask the right question. That's how you get the right answer and that's how you understand what really is going on. Well, I'm sure you're, you're, you're great at it. What would your advice be to uh, immigrants coming maybe from Korea about how they could successfully integrate and learn um, and do well um, from your own lessons? I want to tell them, well, you know who you are and you are in this um, environment where you don't know what's going on. And then I want, I want to tell everyone you gotta open your eyes and you gotta open your mind. You really have to be open to any other ideas. Otherwise, you're just gonna you're just gonna see I am this and they're this and that only the differences and that doesn't lead you anywhere. You have to find the middle ground and uh, find the um, find a space where you could come together and work together. We're all Americans. We're all Marylanders. We're all human beings. And when we put, you know, our knowledges and experiences and, you know, just brightness together, we can just thrive even more. You have said something beautiful. You have just put verbally what you probably do in words. Not only are you a good writer, I bet, you are a great mom because you are passing on to future generations what you've learned. And that's one of the things that we're trying to do as an organization as well. 
So I just, this has been fantastic. And thank you so much for coming out and uh, spending some time with us. I know our audience will love it. And this community is so lucky to have you uh, as a writer. Thank you, that's very nice of you. Thank you for having me. It was a great pleasure. Everyone, thank you for joining today's story and today's video. If you want to get more involved, you can give to the Luminous Fund for New Americans, or you can volunteer with us, both on the website. No matter what you do, just remember this, Luminous is from you to us, and that's what we are about at Luminous, and you can be about as well if you engage with us. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, be well.